It's freezing out today, but I live in Iowa, so it's Thursday and we're going thrifting. Have you ever seen something like this? I did not even realize it was a moose antler turned into a candlestick until I read the tag and then I could totally see it, but super unique. I have a girlfriend who collects little pots like these. Hers are only about three inches tall, but she throws them in a dough bowl. This scrapbook is really neat. It's actually from more my hometown area. He started making it for 4-H, I'm sure, 1950 when he was 10 years old. So he's got Knoxville, Putnam County, Wayne County, all things down by my hometown of Centerville. This was very fascinating and may have came home with me, so be sure to check out my haul at the end of the video. We are at Thrifty Flea and he always has a wide variety of types of items. Always has a lot of pottery. This is a Weller for 15. Beautiful. I love the color and I'm guessing it's a planter. This box had me puzzled a little bit. It has the advertisement stamped into the wood on each end but then it has a paper label i think the paper label makes it look newer but it is old someone did a bad job of gluing it back together there were a couple elephants and i was very fascinated with them they were kind of shaped from marble plastic like melamac maybe very different two of them and I don't know I, I left them there but I like them at thrifty flea there's also a room of furniture normally there's some mid-century modern along with basically every style just kind of whatever he finds up on the top shelf there is a newer wire wine bottle holder this would look super cute in your bathroom with towels rolled up where the wine bottles would go. Next up, we're at Thrift Mart. They're having a 50% off tag sale, 75% off of green tags that have these little plastic things in them, and 90% off Christmas, and I mean the whole store is full of sale pieces. Pyrex and the holder were priced separately, but these casserole dish holders make great displays. You can stand up books inside of them and kind of use it as a bookend. Take note of this milk glass top hat because we are at the thrift store and it is $7.99 and we will find one later in an antique store. Wonder what that price will be. This cage piece just baffled me. It has a hinged door. It has little tabs so you can screw it into the wall. Um, yeah, I'm at a loss. So put something down in the comments and tell me what you think it is. I, for plants, I, I really don't know. I thought these little napkins were cute, but I couldn't decide if they were old or new. I think that they are new. If they had actually been embroidered or something, then I would say that they were old, but they were still really cute. Lots of good images. Just love all of the stacks of white.
Next up, we are at St. Vincent de Paul Thrift Store, and this is the one on 6th Avenue. I have all of these locations listed out for you in the description box. I love nature and natural elements, so I liked this leaf, whatever kind it is. And then somebody made their own sliced log. You can tell because it's super rough, and they did put poly on it, but it's super rough. I think it's a good idea to always shop around as a vintage reseller because there are so many reproductions anymore. Like this vase, if they hadn't left the TJ Maxx sticker on it, I possibly could have thought it was old. So be sure to check out Hobby Lobby and TJ Maxx and places like those to kind of see what reproductions they are making. I did end up peeling the price tag off of this. I just wanted to see if it was marked and it was not marked. This topper was very unique. It was actually ceramic. I've only ever seen those in wood. I'm thinking this was a planter and probably attached to something, but I really did like the look of it. Oh my, this pottery piece was absolutely beautiful. It was signed on the bottom. It was, however, $11 at the thrift store and I left it there, even though absolutely beautiful. This little frog was obviously new. I do have a bunch of bunny rabbits like him. And I really like this little terracotta pot planter duck. The coloring on this metal stand was awesome, although I do think that it was a newer piece just based off the bottom and the sticker. But you could use this to hang an ornament, you could hang a little potted plant. I just really loved the shape and the character. Next up, we are at Salvation Army on Army Post Road. I immediately was attracted to this tall, green, skinny basket. There wasn't any piece to hang it, but you could easily add some wire or twine to it. It's my favorite color. This board would be a great piece to repurpose. I love arches. You could easily paint it or strip off the old birdhouses. All right, somebody needs to be a trendsetter. This is my challenge to you, make the goose cool again. You have everything that you need right here between the hearts, the geese, perfect one-stop shopping. And yes, my mom had this stuff. for something like this. I know this is supposed to be for folders, but I need something to stand up some cookie sheets. This fringy yarn is perfect. It's like faux grass, great for a bowl filler. I'm going to link a video here where I use it on a table centerpiece. I don't know why this brass chair caught my eye, but it's super cute. It's like almost child size, maybe a large doll, but you're not going to believe what we find later. This 
picture brings me back to my high school and college days. I used to love this look. And I'm not one for cornucopias, but this one is ginormous. I loved the size, the color. Somebody put some pads on the bottom, but I just wasn't sure how I would decorate with it because I don't really picture putting fruit coming out of it. This basket looked like somebody tried to DIY bleach it. I loved the shape and I loved the color. Now I've never been a Longenberger basket person, but this vase had a very cool shape and obviously a good price tag to match. Ministries thrift store. These are new finial pieces or architectural salvage, but you can easily cut off the top, paint them, make them look old. Another thing to add to your goose decor. I have some of these vintage candles I've seen a lot lately, and this little shelf or plate holder magazine rack. I think something like this would be cute at the end of my island. So I have been keeping my eye out for something like this. I do like that it's white because it would match my island, but was thinking I wanted to put ironstone plates in it. So then I might want something with a little bit of contrast. I can't make up my mind. Isn't this the cutest? I just love miniatures. Absolutely does not fit my house, but I still thought it was really cute. these pictures are different shades of green that first one's more the avocado color and then this one is more a true green so I don't know if it's a reproduction or just a different color love the green cake stand too anything green is awesome this aluminum cake pedestal was a very tempting it wasn't very wide in diameter it was stamped um, but you could use it for so many things other than cake Decanters are great for your laundry detergent, your soap, olive oil. They make a beautiful arrangement on any countertop. Oh, these plates would be perfect for your new goose kitchen decor. The file holder we saw earlier, I said I wanted it for cookie sheets. I technically want it for my baking stones by Pampered Chef, so I need something pretty strong. Next up, we're at St. Vincent de Paul on Army Post Road. There were some canvases at the bottom of the box that holds the artwork, and I just wanted to double check that there wasn't anything awesome down here. So I like to look in planters because if I feel really motivated, I can always dig that out. 
This dish was beautiful. You can take little terrines and stuff like this that don't have lids and use them for your spring bulbs and just set it on the center of your table. This one was really wonky for some reason, but beautiful, beautiful look. Next up, we are at New to You Treasures. This is a multi-booth store, kind of like a flea market shop. Tinker Toys make great displays for your postcards, photographs, any kind of ephemera. Can you even believe it? I found a slightly larger version of that brass rocking chair that I found in the thrift store. Remember we found the milk glass hat at the thrift store for $7.99? Here at the antique shop, it is $4. This little hand mirror definitely caught my eye. It's got an awesome texture with the like bark. It is broken, but it's been broken for so long. It's like smoothed down and looks natural. I can't even believe it. In this pile, there is an extra large rosary, which is very similar to one I picked up maybe last week or the week before that. Okay, I may or may not recognize these because I have kept them for myself. These are the bottom of all of those bottle brush trees. And you can see in her booth, she has just made new bases for her trees. Next up, we are at Animal Lifeline Thrift Shop. When you first walked in, there was a ton of these rugs. I am not sure if they were sample rugs, if they're intended to be 18 by 18 little rugs for like in front of the sink or in the bathroom, but I thought somebody could use them just on the center of a table or as a little mat. They were just irresistible. I don't always buy milk glass vases when I see them, but I love that these are a collection, all different sizes and shapes.
I debated getting the glass ornaments because I have a big ornament box that needs a few more big ornaments, but somebody has bedazzled these with random things. For whatever reason, I was attracted to this clock, and after standing there and doing some research, it looked like a couple people have it listed at $300. I will never have it priced that high, but I still thought it was a good purchase for $5. cheap bowl filler and I love this carrot was kind of made out of satin and then that little seashell tree was missing a few seashells and they had a lot here for sale but I'm going to look in my own stash at home first. Only a couple more weeks until Valentine's and this heart basket would be fun just to put out, lean it up, hang it on a wall. You could add succulents and greenery or even put it on the coffee table like a tray. I love an instant collection, couldn't resist putting these all out together. Next up, we are at another St. Vincent de Paul. This one is in Windsor Heights. The building is beautiful, and the girl at the checkout counter said she thought it used to be a ski resort which I could totally picture because it's beautiful. I'll have to do a video of it next time. This location puts all of their antique or older stuff in furniture towards the front and this seems to be one of those ruggable runners. It looks like it was never used. Let's check out what Christmas is left that no one wanted for 10 cents. this growing up and I think my mom still has it.
guys, we are back home. It is the next day and I'm gonna share with you what I actually grabbed. So we're gonna go in order of the shops that I visited in the video. The first thing that I got at Thrifty Flea was this J or GW, G Washington's Instant Coffee. I liked it because it had the president's name. I like the colors, even though I, I love green, I like red also. And I just thought it was super neat. Coffee bars are so popular right now. So this would be a cute little addition and it would look good during 4th of July and Memorial Day and all those things that are presidential. After Thrifty Flea, I went to Thrift Mart and I came home empty handed even though they had tons of good sales going on. And then we went to St. Vincent de Paul one of them, I did not get anything at that location either. Next up was Salvation Army. That one is on Southeast 14th. All of the locations are linked down in the description. So I really like nests. I have made them out of grapevine before. If you wanna check out my blog, I'll try and link that here in the description as well with some of my other blog posts that I talk about. I have real nests, but I also just liked this faux nest. Can't go wrong with neutral, natural decor. I picked that up for 99 cents. Now, if you've been following me for very long, I am linking in the description another YouTube video, or maybe I'll put a card I did a tablescape with for spring and the stuff, fringy kind of yarn, this shaggy stuff, you can cut it, you can use it as a basket filler. This one's a little more fringy than the other style that I've had, which you'll see if you watch that video. It's so soft, but it is a great bowl filler. And then you can just like wad some up and put it down the center of your table with your Easter eggs, your bunny rabbits, your chicks, etc., for the holidays. So that I grabbed for a dollar. This is a vintage Christmas kit and it was... This says $1.99, so I must not have been able to read because I don't remember it being $2. But I liked it. It's green. You make these little like wreaths and it's a vintage. So I grabbed that. I did say that I broke some of my rules. So some of my rules have been since we have moved to Ankeny is that I am only supposed to be buying things that I would wanna put in my own home. So pretty much needs to be green or neutral. And two, I'm supposed to be buying things that have a larger profit margin. And I don't feel like I did a very good job of that today, but oh well. Sometimes you spend money based off of your mood, right? And for whatever reason, I felt like spending money by the end of the day. So after Salvation Army, we went to Hope Ministries, struck out there. We went to St. Vincent de Paul, struck out there, went to New to You Treasures, which I've only been there twice in probably two years, but I did find some things. Uh, this isn't Rusty Krusty uh, fish stringer like I like, but these are perfect for just being a fun display. So you can... Drape this on your wall, use some clear thumbtacks or use some nails. And then these are basically like paper clips. You can use them to hang photos. So you can uh, make a hole and clip it in. You can use clothespins like the little miniature ones and clip them on there, but it just makes a neat little chain display and you can just swag it. Um, on your gallery wall as well. So I grabbed that. And then you're not gonna guess what is in this box because I never even heard of such a thing or seen such a thing. So these are basically little glass slides, little mirrored slides. They are place um, tags. So this is like a little bit textured. You can kind of see maybe some faded pencil right there. So you would write somebody's name and then I don't know what you would stand it in or what like is traditionally stood in, um, but this marks who is sitting there and they have these little flowers on them. Here's one that says Jesse, Francis. I can't even tell the one I was just holding. 
Macy, Gertrude. So they have some fun names on them, but I just thought it was very neat and it came in the box. The other thing that I grabbed, which I've shared with you before, when you're looking at these old, I think they're called like anniversary clocks. When you're looking at them, guess what they all have over them? They all have domes or cloches or glass shades. And these are great because then you can repurpose them and put them on something else. But you can also, this one is already falling apart, so they were selling it broken. I mean, I can repurpose this. I have a lot of customers who are very much into, um, what do they even call it? Like junk art repurposing. They would love something like this. I can take and salvage this clock face, the clock hands. I can take all of this apart and then guess what I have? I have a base for my cloche as well. So these clocks, like a lot of times when you're seeing things, you need to think about them in pieces, in parts. So pick and choose what you wanna use from them. Uh, it does not hurt my feelings to dismantle something like that because it's better for something to get used and loved than thrown in the trash. I also grabbed this money box, this safety box, which I think I shared, I videoed, uh, taped it, when I was out with Hillary one time, it says M.R. Davis, something Arlington, 1639 Arlington. It is dented a little bit somewhere right here. I think I can probably take a mallet and hammer a lot of that out, but it is a bigger one and I probably have six, well, maybe not that. I have at least four um, of these safety money boxes. And this one is the biggest. I haven't even tested it out yet, but I'm pretty sure it's going to stack tiered very, very nicely. That I ended up grabbing this round. I really think that it was there the last time and I think that they marked the price down. After New to You Treasures, we went to Animal Lifeline Thrift Store. I say we, it was literally me by myself all day. I don't know why I do that. You probably remember seeing this in the video. Somebody made a seashell Christmas tree. It looks like it's over a chunk of styrofoam and glittered it, glitter sprayed it or whatever. The base is metal, so I'm not really sure what it would have been originally. It is missing some of the little shells. I do, well, before I moved, I did have a huge pile of just shells. I think I've saved some of them, so I'm gonna look in my stash and see if I can uh, patch any of those little spots. Otherwise, it does not bother me, but I just think it is so, so unique. I had to grab it. I also mentioned that clock being um, listed online in a few places for $300. This isn't even that old, I don't think, but because it's Umbria and designed by Karim Rashid, he pulled up, so he's somebody popular. I've never heard of him, but it's just a little wall clock. So for $5, it is stainless steel. It will clean up fine, and I will not be listing mine for $300, but I'm obviously gonna be able to make money off of my $5 purchase. I love bowl stacks. Open shelving is super popular right now. Stacking white dishes, green dishes if it's your favorite color, woods. I love the contrast. And so a lot of times I'll pick up those teak bowls, which seem to be everywhere, but I haven't had little coconut bowls before. And I thought these were just super cute and I don't even care. They don't need to be functional. I just think that they look good stacked. So another rule of mine that I broke was projects like don't get yourself things to do. Don't buy things that are broken and need repaired. And really look at what you're purchasing because last week I bought this milk glass candle holder and guess what, there's a little chip on it. I looked at the darn thing, but obviously I didn't look close enough. So I, I need to do a better job of that. This is some little vintage music box. So you might be saying, well, it's missing an angel and it's missing the tree in the center, but it is not. I have not tried to put it together. I am guessing the tree is broken, um, but I can fix that with like some E6000 glue. So a little music box. They have all of their wings. 
They have their hands. <laughs> that in itself is like amazing, right? So that was in uh, this Ziploc bag with the other pieces. So the angel, she has both of her wings and she's got her little book. I think she just came out. I don't even think I need to do anything to her. Bam, she popped in there, no problem. And then here is the tree. But again, I just think the little plastic trunk is what it would be called, brook. I just think that that broke, my hands are too big, that that broke. And so I just need to glue that there. And then we have the other piece and it needs glued. And then it'll go on to the piece that's on the bottom. So the whole thing is there. It is freaking amazing. So I think I lucked out on that purchase because I did. I just saw the bag and I said, hey, most of them have all of their pieces. We're going to go with it. Another thing <laughs> I'm not supposed to do is buy like mid-century modern retro type of things. I don't buy linens. And guess what I came home with? Yellow is not even my favorite color, but I just loved these. There were four of them and I just flipped through them really quick. I didn't notice any stains, but I just thought it was gorgeous. And so I picked it up, even though it's not my color, it's somebody's color, right? I also shared that there were a ton of these little rugs in there and these all say Lemu maybe. So I looked that up and like a normal rug is like $800 or something. This is Indian hand woven, 100% wool and 18 by 18. So this seems like a good brand. And we think, you know, maybe it was a designer's um, sample lot or something, but you could put this in the center of your table, have it draping out of a basket. This could go in front of the sink in your bathroom, in your kitchen. I'm also thinking about maybe taking one and putting it, this one's a little, this one's a lot softer. This one has a lot of leather um, weaved into it. Putting one underneath the dog bowls. I've been kind of looking at the thrift store for something like that. This one has even more of that leather in it. But we also need a rug at our front door and our front door, it's how it's laid out. There's like a little section of tile. It needs to be a bigger section of tile or we are debating getting wood floors throughout the main level. And so something this size would actually work really well there. Now the reason I'm thinking that it's a sample and maybe not, but see how this just doesn't seem like a repeated pattern it maybe seems like one corner. So that's why I was thinking that, but who knows? It was a $4 each. I know I can sell them and make money off of them. Plus I might actually use a couple of them. So that was at Animal Lifeline thrift store. Then I went to the third St. Vincent de Paul. This one I've only been to twice now. And they have a lot of vintage stuff. They also, between the St. Vincent de Paul's, one of the chairs was at this third one that I went to that has been at one of the other ones. I think it was at the, the second one I went to on Army Post Road or Southeast 14th, I was at Army Post Road. So they hop stuff around a lot. And so I, I felt they had this location at Windsor Heights had quite a few antique pieces. So, you know my love affair with green. This is a Western wear bowl. So, gorgeous. Actually has the lid, which I don't even care about the lid. I mean, let's just be honest. I like, I like the bowls themselves. There was a little chip right here. I got this for $12.99. A little bit higher than I would like to pay, but... If I have to keep it myself, then so be it. But I would almost take the lid and invert it and then stack something on it or use it for layering. I just, I don't really care about the lid being dome shaped like that. 
Another stoneware bowl I got, oh my gosh. It has such awesome crackling and crazing. Probably more by green color. I think this will look really good on my kitchen counter if I decide to put it there with my mystery junk, my mystery junk boxes. I don't have mystery junk boxes anymore. With my MJB coffee tins. So this lid is a little bit different because it has that little um, hump in the middle. This one was $7.99. I like this one better. I think just because of the crackling and crazing and coloring, but it is not marked. These are not the same color, so they would not look good nested together, but you could get something that was totally different color, um, not something that was like the mint green to stack on there or even put a plant. 50 cents, a little baby mug. This one obviously was silver plate with the copper underneath it. Hear the music, it just keeps going off. Tell me in the comments what this is called. It has a name, Brooke just can't think of it. It's like, can you hear it? It's hollow, it's not like, it's not a shell. It's just like a faux shell. <laughs> it has these little feet on it. I just liked it. Obviously, we had a theme going on today but it's pretty. I do not need any more wood blocks. However, these were a good price and these are the larger size. And so, you know, when you see letters at a good price, you might as well get them or blocks at a good price. I'll just add them to my pile. It's easier to spell things that way, which I haven't spelled anything lately and tried to sell the blocks like that. Okay, just the last thing that I got, I didn't get a whole lot, is basically a raw wood Lazy Susan. My girlfriend had put a Lazy Susan in her kitchen cabinets, which, duh, that's where a lot of Lazy Susans are. But hers was much smaller in diameter, and it, was it wasn't in a corner cabinet. It was just literally on her normal shelf. So she had her glasses, and then I think she had maybe like three, well, three, three stacks of bowls maybe. So then she could just t turn it around to hit whatever she wanted to get off of her shelf. It was open shelving in that section of her kitchen, but I thought it was brilliant. Now, this is so big in diameter, it will not fit in any of my cabinets, but I thought it would look good on my new built-ins, which I'm getting closer to revealing for you. And even on the coffee table or the center of our table or our kitchen island or the corner of the countertop, I just, it's an Ikea for $3. I knew I would use it somehow. And it's the, the light color that I like. Well, I'm super excited to have you join me next week. So be sure to check back. See you then.